man gone far too soon. Family and friends remember a 17-year-old gunned down on North Lawrence Street in North Philadelphia. Good evening, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown. Joe is off. Family members say that 17-year-old Nasir Mohammed was shot right in front of his own home on Thursday and later died from his injuries. Tonight, the community released several balloons in his honor and his memory. Alicia Reed is live with how family members want the teenager to be remembered tonight. Alicia. Good evening, Natasha. That teenager was shot multiple times, but his family held on to hope he would pull through. Unfortunately, he didn't make it, and tonight they held a balloon release in his honor. He was a gentle soul. The pain, too harsh to bear. Loved ones release balloons into the sky for a life taken too soon. We tried everything that we could to keep them out of the streets. And the fact they're just sitting on your doorstep in front of your mom's home can get you killed and murdered and slaughtered in front of your own home. Are we living in Iraq or is this Philadelphia? Nasir Mohammed was only 17 years old. His godmother didn't want to show her face on camera, but tells us the teen was motivated, loved to play basketball and make others smile. He was a good kid. He loved to smile, dress, and make sure everybody in the room was happy and laughing when he entered the room. Now they want justice. Just before 5.30 Thursday evening, on the 2200 block of North Lawrence Street, in front of his mom's home, he was shot multiple times in the chest and head. A private vehicle rushed him to Temple University Hospital, where he was listed in critical condition. Days later, his family confirms Nasir succumbed to those injuries. Where do our kids go to have peace? At 17 years old, where do we go for resources? Where do we go for justice? It took the detectives hours to come and do their job. And my six-year-old nephew found the bullets on the floor after we came home, after the detectives was home. A 30-year-old was also shot once in the buttocks and is expected to survive. So far, there are no arrests and the weapon has not been recovered. Reporting live from Spring Garden, Alicia Reed, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you very much.